Hey guys, it's John again. Um, right, this video is just gonna be a, um, a shorter one than normal. Um, it's just gonna be my Guns N' Roses stuff on vinyl. And uh, first of all, I'm gonna start off with, I haven't got many, I've sold a few actually. <laughs> Uh, I used to have doubles and triples of some of these singles. Um, first of all, we've got uh, You Could Be Mine, Terminator 2, with Civil War on the other side. I've got a little split, it's got a split on it. On Geffen, this is a UK one. And next one, we've got two of the Guns N' Roses uh, Sweet Child of Mine remix. And uh, these are these the same ones? No, these are slightly different on the back. The GEF 55s, but this one's uh... ah, this is a German one. I knew there was something different because uh, the quality, when you feel that, even through the sleeve, this is so much thicker than that. That's very, very thin. And I've got a re uh, idea. It's the record that's thicker. This is the, uh, the thicker red record. Geffen. And that one is. Just trying to see where that one is from. Don't tell me. No, that one don't tell me. Now, this one is so thin. The German one. And the record is like. Oh my god. Yeah, definitely German. You could, uh, this one here, just so flimsy. I think they were trying to perfect the flexi disc. It's that thin. <laughs> um, but yeah, Sweet Child of Mine edit, remix, and out to get me LP version on there. Then, you have. Paradise City and this is the uh, 1989 and um, can't read that very well actually this I think this is um this is might be German as well oh no it's not that's another one. I think this one's a UK one. But that's the... Uh, I'll have to double check that one. They don't say on them at all. It's only the, that German one that said. Um, then we go to... Uh, Welcome to the Jungle. With Night Train. Oh, jeez. And again, there's the record. Not um, much info on there. But that's GEF um, 47. And also got Night Train as well. This one's a lot thicker. This is a good quality one, 1989. It's got on there. The I think these could be UK. Night Train LP version, side A. And Reckless Life LP version on the other side. So that's the seven inch singles. Um, 12 inch singles. I haven't got many of these either. Um, 
Gun, Guns and Roses Don't Cry with a hologram on there. Uh, this has got the original. It's got Don't Cry, the altered lyrics on side two. And side two also it's got um, demo the demo of Don't Cry. So three tracks. This out. Gonna need a clean actually. There's the demo, and there's the other two. I don't believe this. It's got a, a polyline sleeve in there, but somebody's not put it back properly. Uh, next one. Uh, Night train. Yes, I did pay only a pound for it. That's the back. This one's got um, got reckless life and heaven knocking on heaven's door live on the other side. And there's the plain Geffen label. That's GEF sixty TT. Well, sorry, T. Um got a picture disc here. If I can get it out. <laughs> no, it's being stubborn. It's gonna come out. Yes it will do. This one's a bit the cover this is a bit battered. Oh. Uh Guns N' Roses yesterday's November Rain on the other side and yesterday's live in Las Vegas there's the uh, disc pretty cool and now we go on to the albums um, this is my original pressing of Lies, and this is the uh, the first copy with the um, the band one. I'll show you. That's why it was banned. Just because it's, uh, I think it's about the gay vicar, I'm not sure. And gangbang horror, I'm not sure. Might be about the loveliest girls always in the Lord GNR LP. That's the record. Uzi Suicide and uh, the next one is not an original because I was I couldn't believe I didn't have this and I bought this year, last year um, because I was shocked that I didn't have an original copy so I had to go out and buy a new one <laughs> Guns N' Roses Appetite for Destruction um, still uh, awesome album. I love this. Uh, I know a lot of people have sort of got a bit fed up with it, but every time I put if I put that on on CD, especially normally, um, it's just like kick ass, really kick ass. In the sleeve, the lyrics. This is the. Um, if it says, and it doesn't on there, some that's Geffen Records one night, and I never noticed that before. But my label's got little cr crinkle bits in the label, just on the on the edge up here. 
pretty shit, doesn't it? Uh, but the record's fine anyway. But yeah, there you go. Um, 97, not a, the original, obviously. Um, it does not have a date on uh, when that one was reissued. Which is quite weird. Surely, I think it must be 20, 2012 onwards for sure. The 20. Not sure. If anybody knows the uh, reissue date of these ones? Because there's no. Oh, there is a number there. I have to look that up. Zero zero seven two zero six four two four one four eight one one. I'm gonna have to look that up. Uh, next one. Guns and Roses. Roses. Use your illusion one. This was such a big record, these, this one and the next one, when I was at school. Um, in 92, that was when I left actually. So this was 91, eh? so yeah, 91, 92. Everybody was raving about Guns N' Roses, so. And I wasn't really into them. I really was not. I probably liked one or two songs. And... Uh, it wasn't until 93 that I was like, listened to um, Appetite and thought, yeah, and that song Night Train and um, the other one that I love loads as well, uh, Rocket Queen, that just blew me away. So yeah, oh I've got to open these up, eh? So these um, are just the same as the Appetite one. These are, obviously it says 1991 on there. We all know that this is not an, an original. <laughs> um, but yeah. There's no other, I don't think there's any other date on it. Which is quite annoying. Because if you were, if you were selling that, obviously you can tell by the weight. That's 180 gram for sure. That's, uh, yeah. Definitely got some weight to it. But if you were going, if you didn't know anything about records and you saw that that was 1991 on the back, you'd go, oh yeah, that's an original. And then your mates would laugh at you and go, uh, no. Oh, there's something in here. Which I didn't notice before. Oh, it's just a download code. So yeah, I don't need to download it. So yeah. Has that got a date on it? Nope. So I can go back in there. And oh, did we look for the date? No, I see on the back of there, made in the EU and uh it's still got just nineteen ninety one. Um This is this has got the song The Garden on it, and I absolutely love that song. It's got Alice Cooper on it. It is an amazing song. Um, that's my favourite Guns N' Roses song for sure, The Garden. Um, and I I always love their um, Live and Let Die version, and You Could Be Mine, so. Um, and then we go on to... Uh, Usual Illusion 2, which uh, also came out in 1991. And this one's exactly the same, virtually. I don't know why they didn't put that to actually fit together a bit better than that. That would look cool with a picture. Uh, but yeah, um, great, great songs on here. Um, you could be mine. A strange, I love. So fine, I love. Um, I would just like to take the songs on here, or half the songs off of here, put them onto Usual Illusion One, and that would be absolutely awesome. There's 
There's a few songs. There's quite a few songs that I just think, well, what was the point of that? <laughs> um, so I would like to see how many songs on Usual Illusion. How many is there? Let's have a look. We've got three, four, five, uh, so seven on that one. Seven. Is that right? Yeah, seven. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Fourteen songs. I would love to see your comments below of your fourteen song Use Your Illusion album the songs that you'd like to see on just use your illusion so make your usual illusion guns and roses um track list you can put it in the order you want explain how you like it how you want it whatever you want to do but i'd like to see people put 14 songs down you're not allowed 15 or 13 it's got to be 14 um because i don't What's on there? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 14. Oh, there's 16 on Usual Illusion 1. Sorry. Uh, okay. You can do 14 or 16. 14 to 16 songs on your made-up Usual Illusion album. Let me know in the comments. Uh, next album, which I don't really care for at all, but it's not as... Uh, well, it'd be the worst one they've ever done. And that's a uh, Spaghetti Incident. I know it's covers, but I really do not care for this at all. Um, this is a special one because uh, you'll see in a minute. I've uh, I had two of these and I sold one um, about a year and a half ago. I uh, sold it. I actually got 30 quid for it, so I was quite pleased. It's orange vinyl. So yeah. Um, I wish I'd kept the other one now. Because I would have liked to have sent it out as VCLT. To some special person out there. On the uh, vinyl community. And then the last thing I got. Because I do not have. Um, Chinese de democracy on vinyl. And I don't really care for it. So I will only buy it if it's very, very cheap, like a couple of quid cheap. Uh, the only other thing I've got, which is a special edition coloured vinyl, is this Appetite for Conversation, which I don't ever listen to these. So I might give this away um, as a VCLT if someone collects interview discs. There's the clear disc. And that's actually clearer than a lot of clear discs. So, um, yeah, that's it. And that has got part one and part two interviews. Uh, 1989. And that is it for um, that video. And uh, I'm going to uh, listen to my bonfire record that Metal Mickey just sent me. So, yes, cheers. See you later. And uh, if you're wondering what this is on my uh, top, Asakaru, check them out. Great band. Um, Oz, the guitarist, always messages me and um, stuff. So it's apparently sp sending me another package of stuff. So I'm looking forward to that. So um, if you're listening, Oz, I'm looking forward to the package. Cheers, mate. See you later. <laughs>